today's video, I'm going to show you the best method to boost your FPS, fix FPS drops and stutters in Fortnite on your any low-end PC or laptop. So guys, welcome to my channel and if this is your first time here, so please subscribe, drop a like on this video and without wasting any time, let's go straight into it. So guys, in the first step, you have to download this FPS pack on your PC, link available down in the description. Simply open the link from description and that will take you onto my this website. And once you are here, so you need to go into this FPS boost section and there you will find out this article which is the Fortnite FPS boost low end PC and laptop. Or you can simply search the same exact title of my this current YouTube video into the search bar and you will find out this article. Open up this article, scroll down, read this important note and click on this download button. It will take you here, click on the subscribe on YouTube, make sure to subscribe to my channel and turn on the bell notification. Once you did this step, now you have to close out this tab and just wait for 2-3 seconds and it will automatically unlock this link on your PC. Click on unlock link, it will take you on the media file, click on this download button and download this pack on your PC. Once you download, now you have to double tap here and drag this folder on your desktop and simply close out this file. Now you can simply delete it or take it on your PC for the further optimization. Now open up this folder and here you will go to load of files. You can also read this first txt file and once you read it, you will get all the instructions. Then here is the system restore point. Because this is the important step to creating a restore point, therefore you got any problem so you can revert all the settings easily back. So you have to double tap here, go for the configuration tab, turn on system protection and set it on to the 5 to 7%. Now go for the create button and name it anything and then click on the create button and it will create a restore point on your PC. Once you create the restore point, so first of all you have to go into the registry tweaks option and here you will find out Fortnite normal purity, full screen optimization, high purity Fortnite, ping reduction registry file and wake up all the core. You have to use just one file from the Fortnite normal purity and high purity Fortnite. Or you can simply open up this txt file and follow this instruction. Don't use both Fortnite normal purity and high purity Fortnite. Try either one and see which helps you the most. So you have to use one of them. So I'm going for the Fortnite normal purity. Click yes, click ok. Then go for the full screen optimization, double tap here, click yes and install this registry file one by one on your PC and it will help you a lot to optimization for the Fortnite. So now go back into the main directory then here we got our batch optimization and here is the clear DNS cache shaping improved CMD and here it will delete all of the temporary and junk data from your PC. So you have to simply double tap here and it will do everything for you in just one click and install all of the CMD files. Now go back, then here we got over Windows optimization and here is some other registry files like better response time for lower input delay, CPU optimization, disable background apps, disable game DVR and also disable the Xbox service mouse delay and optimize all Windows settings. You can install all of these registry files on your PC one by one. Once you're done, now you have to go back and open up the Fortnite config settings. Go into Fortnite game, save, config Windows client and you have to copy this file from here. Once you copy, now you have to go for the search bar and type here percentage, app data, percentage sign and it will take you into this directory. Go for this app data folder, go into the local, find out here Fortnite game, save, config Windows client and paste here and replace the file destination. Once you replace this file, now you have to close out this window and again open up the FPS boost pack. Then go for the Rack OS Power Plan. If you're already using the Park Control or you have watched my previous video, so you not need to follow the step which is the Rack OS Power Plan. So you can simply skip this step and close out this boost pack. Now you have to one time restart your PC, therefore all the changes will take effect and you will get more performance out of your PC. So I hope so you love it, so please make sure to drop a like on this video, subscribe to my channel, turn on the bell notification for getting more content like this. So guys, let the next video peace out.